Welcome to another message from the Voice of Truth podcast. It's a pleasure to be able to speak with you. Today I want to talk to us a little about depression. <clears throat> now, I am not a medical practitioner in any form or nature. Good? So I am going to be speaking about it from a spiritual level. I am not a theologian either. I'm speaking about it based on the knowledge that I have of the word of God and what it is that God desires of us. Depression is one of the greatest tools that the devil use. It's called the tool of discouragement. The tool of oppression. The tool of suppression. It is something that breaks self-esteem. Causes one to doubt God. Cause one to feel inadequate. And cause one to think that not being in this world is the best option. Today I want to talk to somebody who might be going through depression. Medication is not the cure for depression. Depression is a state of the mind. It is something that you'll be able to get over. But first of all, you need to have your confidence in God. Now, when you become depressed, it means that your mind has been overactive with negative things. God has not given anyone a spirit of depression. Because when it is that your mind is occupied on things that are positive and fulfilling, you become joyful even in sad situations. Oftentimes, something will happen to us that causes us a lot of hurt. And we are so bothered by what happened. And we would want to solve the situation ourselves. You cannot find any way out. You become depressed. You want to achieve something and you are going after it and you are not getting it. It seems as if there are walls around you everywhere you turn. You get depressed. You might be disappointed in love relationship. It sends you in depression. You are having economic problems, health issues. It sends you in depression. You are worried about your children or that you cannot have a child. You are not married and you want to get married or your marriage is failing. Whatever it may be, it sends you in depression. Now, do you notice that I've labeled or I've named issues and situations? Yes. Because situations cause us to go into depression. Low self-esteem. You don't value yourself. Someone tell you how ugly you are. What your forehead is like. What your hair is like. What your nose looks like. Or how intellectually dumb you are. Or something about your shape. 
Oh, and it sends you into depression. Remember the scripture says you are fearfully and wonderfully made. We are all unique. You are so unique that no one has your fingerprint. God has made you special. So nothing should affect you when it comes to your self-esteem. You must not be overly proud and you must not be inadequately proud of yourself. When you think about what you want to achieve, have you spoken to the Lord about it? You went about it. You want to achieve it. But did you ask him? Do you know that this is what the Lord is leading you into? Or was it something that you just went headlong into? If that is so, when you go headlong in it and you are disappointed, often that is what causes depression. David said in Psalm 23, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. What evil is he speaking about? Do you believe that it is only demon that he's talking about? No. Evil comes in different forms and depression is one of the evil. Depression is a state of the mind. If you are listening to me today and you don't have a relationship with God, you don't know him. But you are going through depression. I am just going to tell you, encourage you, wherever you are, bow your head and speak to the God of heaven. Tell him, eternal father, God of all creation. I don't have a relationship with you. But I know that you have one with me. Yes. And tell him what it is that you are facing. And what it is that you are going to ask him to do for you. Don't tell him to fulfill your desire. But tell him to let his will be done in your life. When you are going through depression. Move away from negative people. People who are not encouraging you to seek the face of God and they, they are telling you a lot of things that are negative. Keep away from them. But do not keep to yourself. Depression often leads one into loneliness. And when you're in loneliness, that is when the dark sides will manipulate you. So therefore, do not allow yourself to be so captivated in depression that you lock yourself away. Oh, what is happening? I can't talk about it. Find somebody that is positive, that will offer the right advice and speak to that individual. But if you are not sure who to talk to, Talk to the God of heaven first. And when you talk to him, he will lead you and provide the help that you need. I am speaking to you because I've had much experiences, many experiences. That could have propelled me into depression. Growing up as a child. Not having a normal household. And everything went against me as a teenager. I had a troubled life. But yet. It never sent me into depression. You know why? Because I learned to trust God. I learned how to pray. And when it was that things were going against me so much. Oftentimes persons would not know that I was suffering so deeply. Because I was always smiling and I would have been happy. 
because I knew that one day God was going to break the chain and give me the victory. Today I am talking to you as one who has overcome. As one who has been through it all. But I did not walk the road by myself. I placed my hands in the hands of God and it took me through. You might be saying you can't say that because that is what you believe in and all of that. I'm telling you what works. Doctor's medication keeps you as a zombie. Do you want to be a zombie for the rest of your life? Don't you want to enjoy the life that God has given you? Don't you want to fulfill the desires of God in your life? So why is it that you're on medication at all times to keep you calm? If you are depressed because of demonic forces, it is God who has the power to drive out demonic forces. If you are depressed because of your economic circumstances, it is Jesus who said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all things shall be added to you. If it is that when you look, you say to yourself, I cannot manage, and persons are expecting so much from me, tell yourself, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. When it is that you might have accumulated your wealth, and you have been robbed. You have been deceived. And you don't know how to start again. Because the, you are between the rock and a hard place. Remember the word of God said. Naked you came into this world. And naked you shall return. So if it is that the devil has robbed you. And it is God's desire. He shall restore to you. He promised to restore that which the canker worm has eaten. If your children are giving you problem, frustrating you, look back and see if you had followed the word of God that said, train up a child in the way he should go and when he's old he'll not depart from it. If you are defaulted on that, make amends. Reach out in love to your child if your marriage is in problem or whatever husbands love your wife as christ loved the church and gave his life for it that is what the word of god says and wives you have to respect your husband and respect takes love Remember that whether it be emotionally, physically, financially, or any way, in any way, just remember that God is able to help you. You might be studying and you are frustrated. You are not doing well at all. You have selected your course. Is it the right course that you are in? Even if it is not the right one. You have started it. Ask the Lord to help you. Ask him to open your understanding. Don't give up. If you are fearful because many persons are living in fear. If you are fearful... Just remember that first, Second Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7 tells us, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, 
but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Is depression something that is sound in mind? No. Remember, 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. Repeat it until you know it. God has not given you a spirit of fear. Do not be fearful of the things that are happening around you. But instead have confidence in God. But it says what? God has given you what? Power. So you are given power to trample on the enemy. The forces of evil against you. God has given it to you. He has given it to you through your faith in him. Through your sincere worship. And when it is that you exercise faith in him. And worship him sincerely. He is able to work with you. He is able to break down and destroy everything that is coming against you. God has given you love. Do not hate those who did you evil. When you hate them, it will cause you to go into depression. And it will give the devil power over you. Forgive them. Release them from your heart. Place them in the hands of God. Forgive them. Do not hold any bitterness and grudge. And you will find out that your life will change. The only thing in life that you cannot live without is God. You can live without any and everything else. So nothing at all that you have lost or that you have not achieved. Or that you think that you don't have and you whatever and you need should drive you in depression. Love your enemies, even those that despitefully use you. Ask the Lord to give you the spirit of love and forgiveness. And let me tell you, a believer, one who sincerely worships God. Will not go mad. You know why? Because a sound mind is a gift from God. Yes? Remember I tell you, a sound mind is a gift from God. So I repeat again what the verse says. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Good? Claim it. Claim it in the name of Jesus. Claim it in the name of Jesus. It is not too late to demolish the foundation of depression. And to build a foundation of hope and faith and love and confidence. It is not too late to demolish the foundation of I can't. And to lay the foundation of I, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It is not too late to demolish the foundation of low self-esteem and to know that you are beautifully and wonderfully made. Regardless of your state and what anyone wants to say about you, you value yourself, love yourself, and when you do that, you'll be able to love others. If you do not love and value yourself first, you cannot truly love and value others. 
Never measure yourself with anyone. And don't measure your success with anybody's success. Don't do it. Because we are all different. Remember, what did I say? We are all different. Good? That's why this world is such a wonderful place. Because everything was created differently. And every human is different. So we make a wonderful and a beautiful collage. Hug yourself. Right at this moment, hug yourself. Tell yourself, there is hope for me. Tell yourself, my God has great things in store for me. And by the grace of God, I shall put aside this dark cloud of depression and embrace the light of Christ in my life. Have confidence and watch God work. Any form of depression I say, in any form, whether it be occultic or what, God will release you from it when it is that you go to him in sincerity. Trust the Lord. He has great things in store for you. Don't think about ending your life through suicide. Don't murder yourself. Don't send yourself down into hell destruction. God has a better life ahead of you. It is the devil that is telling you to take your life. Don't follow him. He's a tormentor and deceiver. Whether you're a drug addict, anything at all, I am telling you today that God can turn your life around. Trust him. Go on your knees. Start building a relationship with him. Read your Bible. Read your Bible. And ask him to help you to turn away from all form of sinfulness. And to obey him. Ask him to shed the darkness from your life. And to shine his light upon you. God bless you as you release depression and embrace hope in Jesus Christ. God bless you and God be with you. If you have not yet subscribed, I am asking you please to subscribe to our channel.